On today's video, I'm going to show you all how to link your Jira project to your Confluence page. And hopefully with this linkage, you can be able to move some of your issues from Jira and you'll have it on Confluence so you can configure different reports. And Welcome back to Aishka Storm platform. I'm very happy to have you all join my platform. For my existing subscribers and my new subscribers, I welcome you all. So it's very important for me to say that before you can even integrate your Jira board onto your Confluence page is you have to be a space administrator. And if you recall in our previous video, I went over what is a space and what is a page and how to create a space and how to create a page. Well, that's like the foundational stuff about Confluence, right? So you have to be a space admin for you to have this privilege to get this space setting so you can integrate your board. It's actually a very good thing to integrate your board. So now, in order for me to do this, the first thing I'm gonna do is to ensure that I'm in the right space, right? And in this case, the space I wanna be, I wanna be inside Aisha Scrum space, and I click on that space. So space loaded, and now I'm in the Aisha Scrum space, then I go to my space setting. If you are not a uh, space administrator, you will not see the space icon, uh, the space setting icon. So then I click on the space setting icon. Then it brings me to this view, right? I have manage space, space permission view, because I can use that and make all these different configuration, manage page and integration. So in my case, I want to go to integration because I want to integrate on my my Jira board project to my space. So that's one way, right? And if you see, if you scroll down within the space setting tool, the one spot's already in, in the side here, you also have it inside the space setting itself in this view right here. So I can either click from this side and go to integration, or I can just come here and click directly on application link. Let's say I just come here and click integration. And it's still going to show me this page, like it's loading. So then it's bring, it brings me to this integration space. So now it brings me to this integration space. Now that I have this integration space, you have the application link, you have the RS feed and Slack notification. If that's you have your Slack channel in your company, you want that also be part of here so you can also integrate that. But for today's video, my goal is basically is to just integrate Jira. And now the uh, application links, there's, there's no link configure currently, I have no link. Uh, so then I hit add link, right? But before I do that, if you've been finding my content valuable, please like and subscribe to my channel. I truly, truly will appreciate it. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at asiascomtech.com. All right. So now to link it, I just click the plus sign. It's already like even showing me system Jira admin, uh, Jira, right? Because as you all know that Jira and Confluence is uh, owned by the same company at last year, right? So I click on that. So now it's asking me Jira projects are available for this user and I'll search the project name. So basically your Jira project name in bringing me different projects I have in my Jira, right? You'll be like, oh, how come you knew that already? Yes, because it's create, it's owned by the same company so they can easily be integrated, you know? So in my case, I want the Aisha Scrum projects because I want that to be really uh, linked to this board. I click Aisha Scrum and then I hit create. So ta-da, that's it. Uh, now I have my this board um, project uh, link and integrated to my space. And if I wanna create reports, different dashboard, which I plan to show you in my next video, how we can use different, we can use Confluence to create um, dashboards and different um, Jira charts we can have on Confluence, you know? So it can be easy accessible. We can also do that. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you all about the reports and how to add that on here and how to move your issues from Jira to Confluence. Thank you all for watching this video. See you all again in my next video.